What a shed it can be said, our home place. We hear a lot of talk in today's world about how the choices we make today will affect the world we live in tomorrow. However, do any of us pause to think about how these choices will affect where we live? How it will affect the look of the area over decades of choices? One way to do so is through the use of art as a visual medium. There are four paintings, as you know, each representing a, uh, a possible or uh, a possible future. Um, for the Bodishner Bodishner River watershed, uh, depending on they are the out, the future is the outcome of of more or less consultation with the community and more or less involvement by community members. Decisions made about our environment from close versus far, and decisions made by people who live here versus people or institutions like governments from far away. Through consultation with a variety of watershed residents. Narratives were developed for each of the four paintings. Uh, they, came up with, they came up with the four scenarios, each one uh, representing one aspect of, of a matrix that, that evolves. If you compare what might uh, unfold, um, depending whether or not uh, decision making is made close to home here in the valley or uh, far away, and also on, another, on the other axis, whether it is uh, a plan for the long haul, for the long range of the, of the valley, or whether it's a short-term perspective. Based in the year 2050, the paintings not only strive to showcase the effects of today's decisions, but also serve to motivate public discussion about the issue. Great Divide uh, is, is one of them, and that's characterized by a, a very, almost, well, a visible uh, a difference between the north parts of the watershed and the south parts of the watershed. The north parts uh, being developed uh, as part of a, uh, uh, a retreat community, essentially, for people from cities. And so in the paintings we see jets flying into a jet port. So there's, there's an affluence there and the landscape reflects uh, a care for the environment because um, the money can be spent up there, the money is, is in the tax base, to look after the, uh, the environment in a, in a proper stewardly manner. With the Great Divide forecasting an ever-increasing split between the haves and the have-nots, the next painting in the series took the watershed in a direction that involves development, but in a way that has greater benefits for the local community for the short term. Um, the other painting that depicts uh, a, commu uh, a, a sorry, a current focus rather than a long-term focus is the entrepreneurial boom. It's, it's predominated uh, by the growth of industry, especially in the, uh, the lower portions of the, of the watershed around the town of Renfrew, providing a shorter view, a short-term view, because not much thought has been put into preserving the watershed itself. What's yours is mine, and it's essentially uh, a depiction of uh, the spirit of capitalism <laughs> and selling off uh, aspects of the land. So the fields are full of solar, uh, solar collection panels and wind turbines without much thought to uh, the, the human aspects, the human values um, that, that, uh, that are common uh, and that we value in the, in the watershed. With energy needs ever increasing, sustainable forms of producing electricity such as wind and solar will become increasingly common. However, we need to be sure to expand these operations in a planned way, ensuring we do not become overzealous in our pursuit of renewable energy. In the new rural, which is probably the, uh, the best possible scenario here, um, we have uh, First of all, an eagle flying in the sky, a uh, bald eagle, which is a sign of environmental health. And throughout, we see communities developed around local markets. We see uh, a presence of energy generating uh, methods, both water, wind, and solar. Uh, but they're, they're made use of in a planned way and uh, in a way that doesn't interfere, interfere with the, or that interferes minimally with the environment and maintains the rural character of the, of the valley. With four very different scenarios being portrayed here, 
what future would you choose? If we don't understand what our actions are, are going to do and uh, where they're going to lead, um, we uh, are susceptible to falling into, into holes of, of convenience that, uh, that get us trapped and that don't serve the watershed, that, uh, that may serve our pockets in the short term, but not in the long run. What a shed it can be said, our home place. The clouds, the hills, our roof, our halls, and simple truth of watershed here are our waterfalls.